Hello, dear Starshines, Christina here with Life Audio Academy. Um, I'm recording this quick video to answer a question that um, dear brother, young trick named Jim has posed. Um, I want to make a, a separate video about this because this is something super, super important for all star seeds to know. This is a huge thing that, um, that often trips us up. So let me go into it. He says, um, I have an inquiry. I have a close friend who believes that ritualistic magic that my partner and I are learning through our shamanic practices are all demonic. I don't fully believe in devil or demons or hell anymore. I believe it's just energies from Saturn slash Satan and other extra dimensional beings. While questioning our shamanic guide friend, we've been told that our practice is connected to the watchers mentioned in the Christian Bible, at, um, at least in the first book of Enoch. And, and funny enough, when we become masters of this practice, we are titled as watchers, allegedly by those beings descended to Mount Hermon at 33 degrees latitude, 33 degrees um, longitude, um, and gifted mankind with, uh, and gifted mankind with awakened spiritual practices. Though the Bible says they are fallen angels and are misguided, are misguiding humanity in order to lead them to their doom. I was raised Christian, and I know that the Bible has a lot of misguidance and obfuscation in it, which is how our trainer explains the demonization of the watchers, who are the original extra dimensional beings, specifically a certain being who I won't mention here, who taught the old masters um, of our practice and their awakening slash magic. The Freemasons revere the number 33 allegedly because they're, um, because um, this is where these beings appeared, 33 longitude latitude. latitude. Our trainer tells us that we're essentially learning the light version of a similar magic that is being cast upon us on a daily basis by the matrix Masons government off-world beings. I'm doing my best to stay intuitive about it all, it's been two years of teaching so far with this practice, but the deeper we go, the more I have questions. Now you guys can see the nuances in here, right? So this is so big for us to pay attention to. Here is the thing. And this is gonna maybe land out so great for some of you folks. There is no such thing as a pure teaching on this planet. There is no such thing. There is no such thing as a channel that is uncorrupted and pure. There is no such thing as uncorrupted um, magical teachings, spiritual practices. Okay, I know I'm saying this is big, right? There's no such thing. How can I say that? It's because the inception to our consciousness has been happening for a long time, long before Atlantis, long before Mu. Okay, I'm talking hundreds of thousands of years of evolution has been influenced. Many people are waking up to the past 5,000 years of inception, but it goes much deeper than that. It goes much further than that. It goes much more extra dimensional than that, okay? This is why I, re I preach so strongly to you guys, you have to sharpen your compass. You have to get a very, you have to really gear your practice towards sharpening your inner compass. That way, doesn't matter what you're listening to, what level of corruption, what level of, what, of whatever crookedness that is to it, your compass will allow you to discern the truth, the higher truth that is within that information. Okay. And let me talk specifically about energy medicine and shamanic practices. The practice for white magic or practice for light magic are the exact same techniques as dark magic. What is the difference? The being doing it and their intent. That's the only difference. So you can use the same techniques to bring healing, beauty, and harmony to a person, a community, a land, the, and do the exact opposite with those same techniques. You can curse people with the same kind of technique. You can harm people with the same kind of technique. Okay. This is, this is what's so important for us star seeds because we have encodements within our being that gives us that sharper compass. 
but we have to first get out of all the crap that's inside of us that makes our inner voice wrong. And that's a journey and it's very confusing because things are the truth until they're not. They, things are the truth until you wake up to a whole nother level of yourself when all of a sudden it's not the truth. Do you beat yourself up over it? No. Do you make yourself wrong about it? No. You recognize that your compass is taking you to different thresholds of awakening moments. And it's not a straight line. It's a crooked, weavy, weavy line. Sometimes you go backwards. Sometimes you leap forward and then gradually go backwards a little bit. You know, none of it's good, bad, right, or wrong. Your compass when you're listening to it, your authentic voice, when you're really listening to it, it's going to take you to a lot of places that don't make sense until afterwards, afterwards, when you're in hindsight, 2020, that's where it makes sense. Okay. And it's because, well, there's lots of reasons why, but it's, but the big thing is the mind is the last one to know. The mind does not know what the truth is. I know that sounds crazy, but it doesn't it's because it's so susceptible to polar. It's locked in polarity thinking and it's susceptible to all of the programs and games being played. Okay. So um, thank you, young trick named Jim for um, posing this question. Cause it gives me an opportunity to talk about this. Uh, so anytime you're listening to channeled messages, nothing, not, none of it, it's pure. All of it has a level of corruption on it. You have to discern. This is why I, you know, I'm, I'm really turned off by a lot of channels because I can, because of my compass, I can feel the ones that are heavily polluted with belief systems. There's some channels that I really like, and it's because I can feel the truth in these pieces. And it's very easy to discern the, um, you know, it's very easy to discern within those, within those frequencies, what's the truth. And, and so this is your guys's job is to filter out the highest truth of all these past existed teachings and create a whole nother level of new paradigm version of these teachings and practices. This is part of what we're here to do. Our very vibration does that. We open fields with our awareness. We actually, um, you know, filter through find the highest truth and that opens the next field of awareness for us and those fields in the past are still open for other people to access for other people you know makes it easier for them this is we're trail blazing in this way so don't i'm gonna say in my advice here it's like i wouldn't worry about if it's what the labels are demonic or not it's the fact that it's waking you up it's liberating you, it's empowering you, and eventually you're going to reach that threshold where you're not even interested in the dark and light game. You're completely outside of the duality matrix. You're completely outside of the need to have an enemy in this life or the next. You see? <laughs> so uh, thank you, dear brother, for posting this. Uh, this is really great. I think that's pretty much all I have to say about that. And uh, uh, do know, you guys, I may jump further and elaborate more on this in the chats that's coming up this week. All right. Love you guys. I'm out. Bye.